OK, you want to copy a list of files within a particular folder into Excel. Now we'll start with this list of files, but I'll also show you how to do this where you have a subfolder in your folder. Now to start with, you need to select all the files. And one way of doing that is just to use the shortcut key Control A. Then you need to right click on your selection and you're looking for an option called Copy as Path. Now, if you don't see that option, go down to Show More Options and then select Copy as Path in this menu. Then go into Excel, click into a cell and Control V to paste. Now, what you'll probably want to do is get rid of the file path for each of these files. Now, one way of doing that is to select the file path in your formula bar, copy it, then select all the rows that contain files. And then we need to use find and replace. Now to do that, you can either go to find and select, and this is on the home tab of the ribbon, and then replace, or you can use the shortcut key control H. Now I've already got something in the find what box, so I'll just delete that. But what you're gonna do is paste in that path into the find what box. The replace with box, leave empty, and then just tap this replace all button. Click on OK, and there you have a list of files in that folder. Now, another way of doing exactly the same thing is to click in this box that shows the folder path, and that will select your folder path. Copy it, Control C on your keyboard, and then open Chrome. So we're in Google Chrome and in the address bar at the top here, paste in that folder path and press enter. And that'll give you a list of all the files in that folder. Now what you can do is select that table, including the column headings, control C to copy, then back to Excel, click into a cell where you want to paste the file names, control V, and it should paste in the file names, the size of the files and the date modified. Now to get rid of any formatting or hyperlinks, just go down to this control paste options button and choose match destination formatting. And now we just have plain text. You can then get rid of the size and the date modified column. Now, when I've used this method, sometimes it doesn't quite work. So for example, if I select this data again, copy it, go into Excel and paste, I get all the data in one cell. Now, if that is happening to you, what I suggest is that you click anywhere in your browser window and use Control A to select everything, Control C to copy, then in Excel, paste, and you should get your list. You can then get rid of any formatting and get rid of any cells that you don't need. So let's look at a scenario where we have a list of files in a folder, but we also have a subfolder. Now in that subfolder, I've got two files, client database and invoice template. Now what I would do is click into this search box, type a full stop, and that will give me a list of all the files and folders, including all the files in the subfolders. So I need to select all the subfolders and files in this folder, Control A to select all, then right click, and you're looking for Copy as Path. So I need to go to Show More Options, Copy as Path. Then I'll click into my spreadsheet, Control V, and now I just need to get rid of the file path. So we've done this before, but as a reminder, I'm gonna select the file path, Copy, Control H on my keyboard, paste that file path into the find what box, click on replace all, click on okay, and then close. So now I have a list of all the files, including all the files in the subfolder. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.